You guys asked for it and I answered. Welcome back to my version of Vlogmas, where for each week leading up to Christmas, I'm working out like your guys' favorite YouTuber. We got two more weeks after this, so two more YouTubers. Stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss it and you can get the most honest feedback about the most followed YouTubers. This week, I did Pamela Rife's workouts. I didn't follow a workout plan or anything. I just fit whatever I felt my body wanted into my schedule, but you have to stay tuned to the end because my opinion definitely changes. Just like last week's video, I'm going to go through a list of pros and cons, so let's keep it short and sweet and cue the vlogs. The sweat is real because I just did a killer glute focus lower body in the gym, but it is day one. Pamela, breathe, breathe, breathe. I'll figure it out in the next clips by the time I finish this video. But I have one more exercise in my, like, in my workout because as you guys know, if you watched my last video, if you didn't watch it, you should definitely click here and watch the first part of this series where I worked out like Lily Sabri. I'm dying, but before my last exercise, where I'm just gonna burn out on the abductor machine. So I'm tired, I can't talk. I'm gonna do one of her workouts. This is the workout I'll be following. Again, I brought my laptop to the gym so I can film on my phone. So let's go. My first pro is that they're really short and easy to fit into your schedule. Most of the workouts are only about 10 minutes or less. If you're struggling with having time to work out, she has a lot of quick workouts with minimal equipment. So you can get a pretty good burn in just 10 minutes. Here is me in my post-workout glory. Um, I did a 10 minute booty workout as you guys saw and I burned like 60 calories doing it I think the only reason it was that much was because my heart rate was already elevated So I think that's why I was 60. I feel like if I wasn't already working out it would have been less Again, calories are not everything. I'm just letting you guys know Overall was good. I really liked that there was no rest I think that that like made the most out of the 10 minutes because with moves so easy like that you don't really need the rest so i thought that was good if you're looking for like a booty activation warm-up i think that'd be a great one i added a weight to some moves just because um i think the workout really allows for that like you can easily add a band or a weight if you want to so i think i'd give that workout like a solid like eight out of ten no like a nine out of ten I wish she kind of talked during it, but I don't think that's how she sets up her workouts, but I pre I would appreciate some like motivation because she'll give like cues of what to do by pointing, but if you're not looking, you'll miss them. But yeah, I think it was nice to add into my routine. I liked it and we'll see what workout I do tomorrow. I literally just parked in the parking spot. I thought would have the best lighting since I was gonna film this little intro to day two in the car. I just got to the park again. I'm kind of regretting my decision because I put on this like cute sporty workout jacket. But it's like 45 degrees. <laughs> this isn't gonna cut it. So I hope my girl Pamela comes through with a sweaty hot workout or else I'll freeze to death. <laughs> so I just hope that I don't Breeze, but it's a beautiful day the sun is shining i have a celsius that i bought this morning that i dented okay um after this workout this is a workout i'll do today i'm not sure i haven't gone on and looked for one yet i just came and i'm gonna wing it but i'm gonna try to find some type of hit workout and then after this gonna go do arms in the gym it's a great day for a great day people whenever you're watching this i hope you have an amazing day rest of your day night whenever you're watching this mm -hmm. okay let's go freeze my butt off 
My con number one, though, kind of goes along the same lines. So it's good for some people that they're short, but to get a full workout out of her videos, you'll probably have to combine a couple because there's not that many that are a long enough workout on their own. So if you want like a really hard, intense sweat sesh, it's going to be hard to get that out of just one of her videos. I could only find one video that was over 30 minutes, but maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough. I clicked on the wrong workout because I thought I clicked on the 20 minute one, but I clicked on the 15 minute one. But whatever, it was basically the same idea. It was like the same type of workout, one was just five minutes longer. I burned, let's check. About 110 calories. There's little rest, same thing as yesterday. Like you are going, you rest like twice. It burned really bad. Like it burned my legs really bad. But again, that's just because yesterday I was squatting and stuff. So like squat jumps just aren't in me right now. But it was an, a, a solid 15 minutes. I, I wasn't the biggest fan of there not being rest because in my opinion, I'd rather like go all out for like 45 seconds and rest after that than like half ass a bunch of 30 second moves because I feel like with, with no rest, like it was like mountain climber playing to mountain climber and like I'd rather take rest so I can give each mountain climber my all but I literally couldn't do that. So that was that. Also, I want to let you guys know, this jacket is so cute and especially, let me show you, it like matches the leggings so cute and I'll put my code on the screen and it's always linked in the description box for TLF like almost all of my clothes are from there if you see me wearing a set you like it's probably TLF unless I like tag it something different yeah but that was pretty solid 15 minutes but honestly I'd probably give it like a 5 out of 10 I just feel like I've done I've had 15 minute workouts that feel more effective I don't know, I'm torn. So I'll put it right in the middle. And just wanna state this, just because I rate it a certain way doesn't mean it's bad. Like she has lots of followers for a reason. She's doing something right. This is just my personal preference. So keep that in mind. I'm not at all saying that like she's bad at what she does. Just for how I like to work out, wasn't my favorite gonna walk and then go hit arms i just finished leg day it was intense let me tell you i'm posting on my instagram so if you go check out my instagram you'll see what i did today it's the one that says killer leg day on it now we're gonna do my youtube workout um i saw earlier she has a six minute like brutal ab workout so i'm gonna do that it's this one not gonna lie, I came back and I totally forgot I had to do this and I don't really want to, but we're gonna for you guys because I love you guys. Oh my god. Okay, let's get this show on the road. My pro number two is that she stays so strong throughout her videos. She literally never gives up, even in her videos of 15 minutes straight of intense abs, she does not drop one time. So she is strong as hell and I really applaud her for that and it's really motivating to see her keep going through workouts that I think are so, so challenging. So she definitely has a lot of strength of her own and it's really impressive. Okay, that was the weirdest ab workout I've ever done in my whole entire life, so. You could take that as a good thing or a bad thing, teach their own. It hurt, but it was strange. Six out of 10, I wasn't feeling it. Guys, I, not, I don't think I'm a fan. I don't know, all I know is that I need food, so. It's day four of the challenge. So I just finished back day at the gym. Thursday, back day, I'm feeling pretty strong. <sighs> Tired though, 
I'm um, gonna grab my laptop and find a workout for this challenge. I feel like last week with Lily, I was really planning it out, but since like, I'm not really a fan of these workouts, I just put it off until the last minute. So we're gonna do something quick. Hopefully it's quick, hopefully it's fun. Woo, I'm not really excited, but just killed that workout. Ladies, trade on for body, please. Don't only do booty and abs. What's that, like, train for you. Do you know how good it feels to like do a strong upper body movement? I don't know, I just feel like a bad bleep Addison Ray when I pull some strong upper body movements. I used to only be able to do bent over rows, which is the barbell today. I added 10 pounds to it. Feeling good, feeling strong. Let's go do this workout. Second con is sometimes I've found in the videos the exercises either have weird names I've never heard of or are being called like the wrong name. Like in one video's hammer curls were called bicep curls, which is fine if that's not something you really care for, but it could be confusing if you are learning majority of your fitness from her videos. You might get a little confused on those names of certain exercises which might make other videos confusing to watch so just look out for that there's a lot of times i just kept finding myself having to watch the video to see what she's doing because i didn't understand like any of the names she was talking about it was a lot of moves that i've never heard before so it was kind of hard to follow that was by far the best one like 1000% that was the best one I've done. The weights made it just way better. I like that there was rest. I felt like the moves went really well together. I like that she was talking. That was just by far the best one. I give that one like a 10 out of 10 for a 15 minute arm workout. It was really, really good. She redeemed herself in my eyes. I really, really like that one. Good morning, happy day five. So I was gonna drive to the park, do my workout in the park like you've seen me do. But I just went outside to walk for a little bit and it is too cold and I just don't want to do that. But I'm a little bit pressed for time this morning. So we are going to set up my laptop in my little tiny room and get this workout going. I'm doing a 45 minute one, which is one of the only long ones that I could find. I don't know if I'm just bad at looking them up, but yeah i think it's like booty abs hit style I'm, i don't really know but i was really excited to do this outside but i just don't feel like doing it in the cold and then after i do that i might go to the gym because the gym opens at nine in my complex so i might do that now walk to the gym do a little like 12 3 30 action and then be done with my workouts for the morning so i need to get my steps in but I'm excited for this workout. I'm gonna, one second. Gonna drink this, my favorite thing in the whole entire world and get a move on. My third pro, again, kind of goes along with what I was just saying. So yes, it's kind of confusing doing things you've never done with names you've never heard of or wrong names but doing all the weird workouts kind of made the time go by fast it wasn't it wasn't typical of any other workouts i had done before so it kept it interesting especially in the ab workouts i feel like a lot of youtube ab workouts i do follow roughly the same moves or even the workouts i post follow the same moves so it was kind of nice having someone switch it up a bit since most five or ten minute ab workouts on youtube are almost the same That was by far the best one. That was fun. I would say that that was by far the best one. I'd give it like a 10 out of 10. I burned, I think the most calories I've burned doing these so far. <clears throat> 39 minutes, 56 seconds, I burned 250 calories, like 214 active calories, 261 total. So like somewhere in the middle. Whew, I broke a sweat. It was 15 minutes straight abs, no rest. I couldn't do it. <laughs> that was very fun. She's redeeming herself. Two good workouts in a row. I don't know if the first ones I did were like, I don't know if she changed it up, 
but the first two she didn't talk at all and these two she was like talking so that was nice and she doesn't give up that was fun that was hard I highly recommend that. That was a solid workout. It reminded me a lot of the Lily Sabri ones, how she did like the different like types of workouts because Lily does that too. Lily will be like, okay, like first we're doing hit and then we're gonna do abs. So like, it was very similar, but it was like 40 minutes and it went by really fast. I really like that one. I'll probably like keep that one in mind to do when I'm home and stuff. It is day seven, our last day. Day six was a rest day because no challenge is worth hurting myself or like burning myself out so we take rest days around here but i just as you can tell if you've been watching these this is my gym bathroom i just did lifts i just did three compound lifts today and then ran like half a mile walked a little bit i'm gonna find probably another ab workout to do and that will be my last workout from pamela as always that's the workout i'll be following right now you guys will See me do it in a second. I can't wait to start the next challenge. You guys have to stay tuned for next Monday because it's gonna be a good one. I'm really, really excited. I feel like it's gonna kick my butt. And I won't really be in the gym much next week when I'm doing this next person's workout. So I'm giving them like all of my effort. It was a really good lift. Um, I'm also today posting on Instagram a really um, helpful post about like compound lifts. So you guys should definitely go check that out. Let's go get these abs popping. My third con is just related to the structure of her workouts. Since they're all very short, she does a lot with almost no rest, which yes, makes efficient use out of the small time frame. but I personally think a longer video with more rest in it would be more beneficial because you can actually put all of your effort into the exercise. I found myself struggling with simple moves just because I've been going for 10 minutes with no rest that even like jumping jacks were hard because I had no rest and I feel like if I got even a 10 second rest every now and then maybe in a 25 minute workout I would have way more effective results probably burn more calories because I can exert more energy after resting and have a more fulfilled workout I found with no breaks it was really easy to like give up especially in the ab workouts 15 minutes of ab straight was really really difficult but on the last day that's why I like that in the 10 minute ab workout there was breaks because it made it more achievable to get through everything because you know you have a rest coming so just personal preference I'd rather have a little bit longer videos with rest rather than crazy amounts of exercise with no rest so I can actually give it my all That ab workout was really good. It was super beginner friendly, which was nice because even though it was easy, it was just chill. Also, these cars are making so much noise when I'm trying to film. Whatever. Her other ab workouts are really, really hard because there's no breaks and they're really long, but this one was only 10 minutes with breaks. So if you're a beginner, it was perfect. So even if you're not a beginner and you just want something more chill, I really like that one. 9 out of 10. I hope you guys are loving this series. I love doing it for you and you guys are always asking me about what YouTube workouts I like and which ones I think work or don't work so this is the only way I'm going to be able to give you my honest opinion. Let me know what you guys think of Pamela's workouts down below. I'd love to know what you guys think and next week is going to be so fun because I'm doing someone's workouts that I've never done before and they look so hard and you guys requested her a ton so I'm pumped. I hope you all have an amazing day. Subscribe down below so you don't miss the rest of my Vlogmas content. Bye.